Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is another video from uh, EDC on full wave rectification. Actually, I had solved this question earlier, question 31. Uh, but a student had uh, requested that instead of ideal diode, if you consider them to be silicon diodes, what will be the output? So I'm calling this question 31 modified. So let's see. So this is the input peak 170 positive negative. And we'll consider only the positive half first of all. So that means the input will be positive 170, positive at the top, negative at the bottom. And now keeping this voltage, you can see that the positive of the battery is touching negative of this diode. That means this will become open circuit, reverse bias whereas negative of the battery is touching the negative of this diode. That means this diode will become forward bias. So we'll replace this with a 0 0.7 volt battery because silicon requires 0 0.7 volt. So this one open circuit, this one replaced with a 0 0.7 volt battery and rest of the circuit remains same. Now we'll draw current. So the current I starting from the positive terminal, going up to this point, it is I, but at this point, it is dividing into two paths, one going on the left, I'm calling it I1, and the other I'm calling I2. And then at this point, they're combining again, becoming one. And now we'll keeping in view the current, we'll also mark the uh, battery, polarity. So this is the current and we know that wherever the current touches first, that terminal will become positive. So let's see this. So this become positive, negative, then positive here, positive here. So we have marked all the voltages and now we'll be writing the KVL equation. Two loops we'll consider. First of all, this one, left loop I'm calling. And the other I'm calling a right loop, and that is this, this, and this. So first one, left loop, we start from here, negative 170, I into 2.2K, so 2.2K into I, and now it is dividing. So we're going left, so it is I1 into 2.2K with the positive sign, so positive 2.2K I1, and then coming here, we have positive of the battery, 0 0.7 volt. So positive 0 0.7 equals zero. So this is the first equation. Now we take the equation for the other loop. Again, we're going from here, minus 170. This one remains same, 2.2i. And now this one is 2.2k i2. So 2.2k i2 equals zero. Now we'll add both of these. So adding this, uh, here we are getting I1 plus I2, and we know I1 plus I2 is I. So solving, we find the current I uh, to be 339.3 divided by 6.6K. Now we'll put this value of I in equation number one. So putting in equation number one, can see uh, this one I I be replacing with this and remaining uh, remains same. Simplifying and then further simplifying, you can see 2.2 K I1, 2.2 K I1 is actually V naught. So we replace this with V naught. And from here we get V naught to be 56.2 volt. So this is the peak output for the positive half cycle. So we can draw it like this. This is the peak 56.2 and the shape remains same sinusoidal. So this is the first half. Now we take the second half. Now the sign will change here, negative at the top, positive at the bottom and same logic. Now this negative is touching negative of the diode. So this will become forward bias and positive is touching the negative of the diode, so this will become reverse bias. 
So the circuit will become like this, the battery, the bus pass open. And now same way we'll draw the current and mark the polarity. Now the current is going from the positive terminal, so positive terminal of the battery. Here it is dividing I1 and I2, and then combining at this place become I1. Here also we'll mark the voltages polarities. So marking the voltage polarities. And now we'll write the KVL equations. So left loop from here, this 2.2 into I and 2.2K into I1, then positive 0 0.7 and coming here negative 170 equal to zero. So equation number one, equation number two, 2.2I and 2.2I2. And coming here negative 170. So two equations we got, now we'll add them. So adding and again, I1 plus I2 is replaced with I, solving for I. This is our current for the negative half cycle. Now putting this value of current again in equation number one, putting in equation number one and simplifying, we get this output also 56.2 volt and it is positive, keep in mind. So we'll draw it now like this for the second half, the output will be positive 56.2 volt. So for the input 170 minus 170, we are getting two outputs, first half cycle and the second half cycle. So adding the two, we'll get the total output. So this is the complete output. So this is part one answer. Now another part of the question says, find the DC value. So we'll use this formula, VDC is two V maximum divided by pi, now V maximum is 56.2. So solving VDC is 35.78 volt. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.